Hi, my name is Joseph Weeks from Say by Boss. Today, I shall be talking to you about YouTube Shorts and Pictory, a software that uses AI to create videos. Now, as you all know, Shorts or YouTube Shorts is YouTube's latest offering, and it is an attempt to counter platforms like TikTok. Now, YouTube Shorts was launched a while ago, or I think about a year ago now, and it has grown and grown and grown to the point where we now have something called a monetization shelf and this is a method by which you can actually make money from youtube shorts and so there's a huge incentive to make shorts for your videos and uh, for your youtube channel i beg your pardon but how do you go about this how do you get the content to go about making these videos now if i show you my phone here um this is my phone just so you can see and if you see um, shorts is enabled, this is where you see a, a lot of the shorts. So all these are shorts, YouTube shorts. And this is called uh, the short shelf. So typically, to make a short using your phone, you go onto this and you, you click on this. And you can see it gives you the option to create a short. And all you do is you click on that. And then you can then use that to create a short for your channel or about content whichever you want and however you want to utilize it the problem though is there is only so much content you can create with your phone and what i mean by this is even as a content creator you sometimes find out that you have themes that you have created and you have begun to exhaust them so you have to find different methods to create shorts now typically what you want with your shorts is you want something that is exciting or informative. And what you want to do is you want to hold the interest of your customers or your potential customers because the nature of shorts means that it is a very different way of looking for new customers as opposed to the traditional way which YouTube utilizes. So most times in terms of making the long form or with the long form type of channels or videos what you find out is that you have to have a specific number of views for your videos to be shown to other people now this is what it was and this is how it has been up until the the introduction of shorts and with the introduction of shorts there is a big opportunity to do things slightly differently without going into too much information and without going into too much detail the evolution of shorts means that a lot of the traditional methods by which people see your videos are becoming present within shorts and one of the methods by which this happens is shorts are now being shown on the browse feature now this is the home page and this is typically what youtube will call uh, the browse feature or where people who see your videos initially can browse and see what you have to offer without them having been subscribed to you. This is normally done when the information that they have been looking for is similar to what you have on your videos or your short videos. And also, if I click on this video, for example, you'll see this video come up. Let's make sure this is in play. And um, all of this down to the right hand side here is suggested videos as well. So people who actually watch your videos, you they can also see the uh, some of your short videos uh, suggested to them on the right hand side. Now this is very very important because this informs the fact that when you create shorts, it's now obvious that YouTube as it evolves is beginning to use the customer profile that uses for the regular videos to begin to show shorts to customers or your customers that are, are unlikely that these shorts will get a, big, a bigger coverage. So with that in mind, I would say to you that it is a lot easier or more purposeful to create shorts which are similar to the content you actually have on your video. It is not necessarily anymore to make random videos and bring stuff over just to get the eyeballs on your channel. 
Now, how do you go about doing this with Pictory? Well, Pictory is a software that uses artificial intelligence, like I said, and what you could do is that you could use a number of methods to actually create these videos. Now, with short videos, there are two criteria it necessarily needs to fulfill. One is the format, and that's why this has been created or why you, you see the button to create shorts on here. Typically, you can use the resolution of 9 by 16, and this is, a, this is the ideal resolution to create shorts because when it's actually, when you actually put it on, when you actually load it up onto YouTube Studio, the format will determine whether it's a short video or it's 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 the leg is it's the regular format. The other thing that determines whether your video is a short video is the length of the video. It has to be less than sixty seconds. Also, you have to use the hashtag shorts within the the description and the heading or the or the title of the video. So that YouTube knows that you're dealing with shorts. Now, how do you go about using Pictory to create shorts? It's very simple. But one of the methods I use basically is I'll go to my blog and this is my blog. I picked up this article, how to make money online with different techniques. So what I did with this is I clicked on it and went directly to the post and then took you can't really see the URL on here. I took the URL on there and I went directly to Pictory. So this is the outcome of it. And I put it in, in Pictory and this is what it created for me. Pictory has the function by which you can use different methods to create videos. And one of them is articles to video. And this is a preview, I'll just show you a preview video of the short I created. And so this is just a preview of the shot I created. Now to do this, all I had to do was go to Pictory. So what you want to do is go to Pictory. You've taken the URL for the blog or the blog post and you put it in, in there and hit proceed. And what it'll do is it'll extract all the information. As you can see, this is all the information and it'll highlight the, the portions that it really thinks it should be using for your video. Or what you want to always bear in mind in terms of what you're doing is you want to look at this to see this, the length because this will determine whether or not you can use this as a short, as I told you before, it has to be less than 60 seconds. And so you can see this is one minute and 20 seconds. So you have all kinds of text that is selected for you in here and the highlights will determine what is actually being used. Now, it's up to you to go in and just have a quick look. And if you don't like something, for example, you take this out and you see you're down to one minute, five seconds. What I would suggest is if you cannot get the perfect information you, you require, you should just get a skeleton of what, a few ideas about what it is that you want to talk about. So in this instance, um, I don't really like some of these, I don't, I don't think they're necessary. So I'll just take this out and internet marketing and e-commerce, two things I'm going to speak about and maybe a brief def definition of what internet marketing is and what it does. I'll change these as I go along as you will see in the final. And then e-commerce, this is a lot. It's making it one minute, 10 seconds. So I'll take this out and that's down to 50 seconds. And maybe I'll just put this in. That's this one. So we're now at 50 seconds. So I have a, a framework of what I'm going to talk about here. And then if I hit, and one more thing, typically sometimes when you're making these videos, it'll take the actual 
title from the title of the article you can go here and you can actually edit this so you you, you can do that if you want to so in this case i'll just use because i've done this before i've just had to make more money and i'll just do this and then i'll hit next and then also a very important feature is to select your portrait size which is 9 by 16 which is typical or ideal for different kinds of social media platforms and the shorts and the shorts shelf so what you do is you, you click on that select that and it renders it for you as you can see it's pretty quick it comes in here and there you have it you have different scenes all here as you can see them and the scenes you can go in and click on them and see what they're all about and this is where you can now begin to edit the text so you can see you can edit the text here so either of these can be found on the web i could change this to either of these can be found i just i could just move this or uh, found easily um easily and then i could highlight the either and do that and that's it or i could delete the, the scene in, in its entirety so all of this can be done here as you can see we're still at 50 seconds so we can add whatever features we want or whatever text we want there because we have a leeway of 10 seconds the other feature I tend to do is I go in and I change the visual. So maybe I don't really like this visual. I go in here and I have a look to see what's available. And if I want something else, I can type it in here. And that's how I came about changing the, the structure and the look to something I was more interested in as to what was given to me by the AI feature of Pictory itself. Now, like I showed you the final the final draft or the final product of the of the short i created what i'm going to do is i'm going to post that on my short shelf and you can go and have a look at my videos when when you can and see what it looks like this is really short the idea behind this though i'll say to you is you know consistency is very important and sometimes content can be a bit of a challenge so what you also always want to do is you want to get as much information as you can to create the kind of videos or the kind of shorts that you know that your audience will be interested in. I hope this has been helpful to you. Please, once again, it takes me a while to make these videos. I would love to have a thumbs up or a thumbs down, either which way it tells the YouTube algorithm that you are interacting with my channel but also it would be nice to get a subscription so if you subscribe to my channel you get more videos like this and this is a real plug to get subscribers and get my numbers up as i go along thanks have a good day until the next video